Hey guys, Ali Duzette here. It's day 39 of the Venus retrograde and day 13 of the Mercury retrograde. Come hang out with me at Intuitive Healing with Ali Duzette on Facebook. So fun. Can't wait to see you there. Okay, today Mercury is back in Capricorn. Do you remember yesterday it was at zero, zero degrees Aquarius? Now we're back in Capricorn. And okay, Mercury and Juno and Pluto are creating what's called a stellium. And really, they were kind of doing that yesterday, although it was a multi-sign stellium because Mercury was still in Aquarius. But whenever you get three, uh, you know, heavenly bodies together within a variety of degrees, let's just say it's up to uh, some astrological debate. But one definition is to have three things within seven degrees. This clearly fits the bill. This is a tight conjunction of the three, 26, 27, 29. Um, so these are energies that we've been dealing with for the past couple of days, and we're just going to continue dealing with them. They're still trining the North Node. It's a big invitation for us to be practical about where we need to be reborn in our thoughts and in our relationships, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and tap on your forehead or collarbone, and we'll stay together. I am open to knowing where I crave security above all. It can be safe for me to be aware of where I need to shift my thinking. I can trust the divine to provide my security. Okay. Let's put your hand on your heart and breathe that in. Ah. And I'll just speak uh, to my own personal experience for just a moment which is that I hadn't even put it together until I was looking at this right now, but I have been feeling this huge compulsion to study what I call the divine polarity of the divine masculine and the divine feminine and trying to make sense of how it works and just like why, like it just, I'll just be real with you. It just it doesn't always make sense to me why one half of the population has to like bleed out of their body for a quarter of their life like that doesn't make sense like so much about how reality works as far as the masculine and feminine dynamic I just I get that it must be this way and that this is an important polarity but I feel like I'm missing something because there's got to there's got to be a missing piece that I'm not understanding where this can make sense because it just doesn't always make sense to me um, and so as I'm looking at this, for me, I'm saying, okay, this is a great time right now. Like I'm, I'm doing it exactly right. All of these deep thoughts about uh, the divine feminine and divine masculine, this Pluto is going to invite me to have a death and rebirth of my thoughts with this Pluto about what? This is marriage and relationships. Venus is going to be feminine energy in general, um, feminine sexuality, feminine anything. So this really is the time to be digging in practically, thinking about it practically. And um, oh my gosh, like even Mars is in, is in uh, Capricorn right now. And so is Vesta. So a very busy, um, a lot of energy right here in Capricorn and Mercury right here to help us all just think a little bit more clearly about how uh, the feminine and the masculine interact in general in the universe, in a nation, in a family, within oneself. Uh, so these are things that maybe you're thinking about too. I don't know, you don't have to be, but if you are, then I think that makes a lot of sense. Okay, that is it for today. Thanks for being here, guys. See you tomorrow.